In this video today, I will show how to make realistic diorama water using toilet paper. First, by gathering the cardboard needed for the base, then drawing the template. I then cut out the elevated layers of ground for the cardboard base, then proceed to gluing down the layers with PVA glue. Once the base is assembled, I will then use cut up paper as a masking tape substitute. I do this by covering the base in glue, then applying the paper over it. Once the base is fully covered, I let it dry for 30 minutes to an hour. Next, I'll use this sand and gravel as ground texture. To do this, I cover the base in glue, then sprinkle sand and rocks over it. Then I let it dry for at least two hours. Once dried, I then move on to painting, starting by covering the base in a white primer. For the primary base coat, I use a mixture of German Camo Medium Brown and Gold Brown. For the secondary color, I washed the base in orange-brown. And for the color of the riverbank, I used black-brown. For the third base color, I painted in beige. And the rocks, I painted them in light gray and pale sand. For the water on the base, I will use this roll of toilet paper. First, I start off by cutting three sheets of toilet paper. Then I lay down the three layers of toilet paper. After that, I'll then brush them and water down glue. And just before drying, to make waves or ripples, I lightly push the toilet paper forward. Then I let it dry for at least 12 hours. Once dried, we can then move on to painting the water. For the shallow water, I use a mixture of green-brown, part green, and flat blue. For the secondary color, I use off-white, flat blue, and part green. And for the deep water layer, I use flat blue, black, and medium brown. To blur the edges of each color, I pat it with a clean brush. To highlight the water ripples, I use a white gray. Once the paint has dried, for a clear coat, I use PVA glue to give the water a more natural look.
And these are the results of after letting it dry for 2 hours. And one final step, I'll add grass to this diorama. I do this by applying PVA glue to various spots on the diorama, then sprinkling the grass over it. And that appears to be it, I hope y'all like this one.